Hi, my name is Dr. Dan. Welcome to another Voice Essentials Pit Stop. And today, just like we do every Tuesday here at Voice Essentials, I want to give you a piece of information that you can build into your practice so that you're getting the very most out of your voice. And so today's information is about learning to hold a mic. And you can see I'm actually not holding a mic, I'm holding my deodorant bottle. And what I'm wanting us to do is learn to be more comfortable with holding a mic. Contemporary singers typically, actually most of the time, are holding microphones. Sometimes they've got the old Madonna mic on, but most circumstances that you and I are going to be in, we're going to be holding a mic. And therefore, I want us to become really comfortable with, and confident with being able to hold a microphone. And so learning to have the, the mic sit comfortably in the hand, having it create no tension up through the, the arm and into the shoulder is really important. And before I ever owned well, what is now multiple microphones, I used to use one of these, a deodorant bottle. Now, the benefit of the deodorant bottle, the male size deodorant bottle, is that they're, they're almost exactly the same size as a wireless mic. And so using them is, is really very, very similar to when we sing with a, a wireless microphone. But I never get students to hold it with the nozzle facing the mouth. In fact, I get students to turn it around so that they're singing into the bottom of the microphone. And the reason for that, I'll see if the camera will focus in for us. What we're doing is we want that surface there. You can see it's a concave surface. I want us to be able to sing into that concave surface because what happens is we actually get this little natural point of fallback as, the, as our sound hits the concave space and it folds back to our ears. And so it's actually giving you a little bit of fallback learning as well. You're getting used to hearing your voice far more present than you would if you were not using the microphone, or in this case, the deodorant bottle. And so I hope that's helpful. It's a little hack that I've been using with students and I used myself for many years that I think you'll find really helpful. Make sure you leave me a comment in this. I'm still using this as a microphone. Leave me a comment in the section below and let me know how you get on with using your pretend microphone. Yeah, you'll feel a bit weird with it to start with, a little bit awkward. You'll get over that. Just move through it and get the benefits of learning to hold and hear yourself uh, all that much better during your practice. If this is your first time here uh, at Voice Essentials, we would love for you to join uh, and subscribe to our channel and join our ever-growing community of singers from across the globe who, just like you, want to raise their voice in song. Until I see you in the next Voice Essentials video, whether it be another vocal pit stop, which is on Tuesdays, or the far more in-depth videos that are on Thursdays, I'm Dr. Dan. Sing well. Soundtrack.